I have a, I have a, I have a guest today, you guys. Um, and I'll just say this big get for the show. We had revoke. We had Lola Gaudini. And now we have a guy that you might know of. You've seen him on the internet. You've seen what he does. I would say what he does is nothing short of magic. And it makes me wish that uh, I was his age in this age of the internet. So I could express myself in this manner. But if I do what he did, I would get arrested. Welcome to the show, Julian Hodges, everybody. Julian Hodges, should we have, put in applause, will you? In post. Julian? Uh, my guy, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on. Thanks. Where, where are we coming from today, Julian? Where'd you, where did you, uh, from where did you pull up is the question. Wherever I wanted. Where did you want to pull up from? The crib. <laughs> Where's the crib? Down in uh, NoHo. Big chilling. Shout out to NoHo. Yeah. Big chilling in the NoHo district. Shout out to Garrett Chan, Garrett Gutierrez off camera. Uh, you guys might remember a previous uh, a sponsor of the show named Goshi. Does that ring a bell with you, Julian Hodges? No. He's a Riz God. If you guys don't know who this man is, you don't know what Riz is, you don't know how to talk to women in, in shopping marts next to the fucking frozen food aisle or even next to the feminine hygiene projects or, or, the, or, the, or the, uh, the tooth stuff. If you don't know how to do that, follow him and you'll learn the art of macking. <laughs> Julian, how are we doing today? I'm chill. <laughs> He's super chill. Well, what's great is that when you when you uh, when you have a guest like Julian on, it makes my job incredibly easy. I don't. I'm I'm never. I've never been at a loss for words. Um, but I just want to talk to you about your process. Uh, yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, well, first I wake up in the morning, uh, brush my teeth, and then uh. See, DM a bunch of hoes, see if I can get some dope pussy. <laughs> uh, and I started drinking mushroom coffee, so that's pretty nice. My man said dope pussy. Yup. Swag. Uh, I, I beat it up. He beats it up. He uh, beats it up. I believe you. you're, you're, you're a solid human being. You're, you're what they would call commonly, you're commonly what's known as a unit, I would, I would believe. Thanks, nigga. My guy. Um, so Julian's here. He comes from the beautiful city of NoHo, fresh from the dog hospital. Yeah. Hey, can you stop, please? <laughs> yeah. Stop being allergic. He's allergic to uh, his. That, whatever it was. Um, Is there a world where maybe you could riz up my assistant cat uh, when she comes back? Like think I, she'd let me hit her? She probably will, yes. Cat is dead ass because like if she would. I could just like really throw that shit on right now. Like I ain't front. <laughs> Nigga, I'll pull that shit out. No cap. <laughs> For those of you wondering, I don't actually talk like that. Sorry, I just felt the need. I also called you the N word. I don't know if that's no, that works for me. Is that all chill? Day. Oh yeah. Okay. Bet. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw these on just so I can tap into the. Not now. <laughs> oh, so I see what's happening is that was your awkward character, but this is you. This is your essence. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, I feel like I, the glasses help me tap into it a little bit. You know, so uh, I'm just trying to. Damn, can I can I put my glass? Can it? Can you hand me my really weird long glasses, Jason? They're on my desk because I don't want to get left out of this situation. <laughs> oh, uh, you're getting shaded up. In right my now? time, in my time, yeah. young buck. You know, I, I had a few. I had a few Whoa. words to say myself. I'll just say that. <laughs> I've been known to pull up back before DMs. Okay. Uh huh. We'd have to pull up and say, "Excuse me, do you have a minute to talk to me?" On the boardwalk, you say, "Excuse me, excuse me." That's you the OG. Get, one. You got a minute, and uh -huh. they go, and if they say yes, you're good. You you're know, in there. You're in. It's you're you're basically, you the deal is sealed. 
Mm-hmm. But the scariest part, and I'm being real here, when you when you first start out mm-hmm. trying to talk to women is the approach because oh 100 you're walking up and like your heart is beating as if you're about to like get into a fist fight or something yeah right? you're you know, just it's like, like it's it's nerve-wracking it's nerve-wracking and then my you know i always talk to i'll have like a a, a lady i'm seeing and they'll ask me about like for some reason they go what is it how do you how do you approach they ask me how do you talk to girls and i'll be like well how do i talk to girls in the aughts or how do I talk to women now? Uh-huh. And in the aughts or in the late nineties, I had to talk to them in person. Like you had yeah. to approach people. Yeah, exactly. You had to be in the mall. <laughs> you had to go somewhere <laughs> yeah. and be like, where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> you like really have to go seek these women out. Yeah, you'd have to be like, I hope today I see some women. And then when you're a single man walking around and I used to I used to play this game where you just go, well, if my feet, if, if you're scared and mm-hmm. you're nervous, this is when I was younger, when I, when I was, I'm not nervous anymore. Mm-hmm. When I was a young buck, there's a lot more hormones coursing through my veins, and mm-hmm. a lot more connectivity. Yeah, and you were, synapses popping, you know? You were twacked. Twacked. <laughs> when I was a twacked youngster, <laughs> yeah. I basically would commit myself. Let's say, the, let's say the person's here and I'm here and I'm 15 feet away. I commit myself to the walk. Uh-huh. So I go, okay, feet walk over there. Uh-huh. And now I'm approaching them. And now they see me and they're looking at me and like, now I have to keep walking. Yeah. And then once I stop in front of them, now I've committed my body to being in front of their body. Then you have to have a fire opener. <laughs> but you can either have a fire opener or you can just be very like friendly. Yeah. And say like, you want to talk? Like, oh, who are you? What's what's going on? What yeah. are you doing out here today? Why are you in, in Venice today? What's going on? What, you're at the beach? Oh, where are you from? And then you're in yeah, conversation. Yeah, spark up cash conversation. Yeah. Spark up a conversation that eventually leads into a phone number being exchanged on a piece of exactly. paper maybe. See, honestly, there's something there's something beautiful about that. You know, it's funny. I remember like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 27. So yeah. I feel like even for when in my young age, like it was rare to see a hot girl. You'd be like, oh, shit. Like it was a memorable moment. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you'd go to the store and be like, fuck that girl the other day at, you know, the mall was so cute. But now it's like they're just we're just drowning in it. We're, we're, drowning in it. we're in Los Angeles. But we also have our phones where you can just it's, see like hot girl after hot girl. It's like overload. Julian and, Hodges. That's what I'm saying. It's yes. it's actually, I'm going to, this is, sounds crazy, but it might be too much. Hit it. Hit right? It. <laughs> Hit me. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. No, what I'm saying is it, it's too much. No, no, it's way too much. It is. It it's, really is. You it's, can't, it's, I can open my it's phone. It's lost its value almost. It's lost its value. Yeah. I can open my phone and see stuff that when I was 15 would have made me nut in my pants on my phone. Facts. Right? Like, no, I'm, I can go- see- I'm, I'll go to the FYP and goof two minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> he said goof <laughs> oh man listen yeah it, it, it is it's like as a person who uh doesn't have you know i i have um i enjoy life and and uh i will say that like being single is 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 can be a curse because there's is it's it's uh there's a there's a lot happening out there mm-hmm. and there's a lot and it's all here and it's the multitudes of what you can see. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a gentleman about it, but it's yeah. crazy. It's no, crazy. you I, I you strike me as a guy who has a lot of ops. You got ops? I got ops. Yeah, I got, you got ops. That's yeah. fire, dude. I mean, I mean, you listen. Just on the <laughs> just having a sense of humor alone. This is something. This is this is something that I I, I will stand by. Mm-hmm. Women as animals are mm-hmm. much better than men mm-hmm. as far as like how they look at human beings because. Mm-hmm. One hundred percent. Right? They'll look at a man, look and like, they're looking at him as a person. Yeah, like redeeming qualities. Redeeming like, what are qualities. his redeeming qualities? Yeah. We just look and be like, "Yo, she's got dope boobs." Yeah. Let's see what's good. <laughs> dope ass boobs. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> look at those boobs, guys. No, and like women will look at a man and be like, "He is. He's funny, and he's got a good personality." Mm-hmm. And they they see that. They see that as in front of the what the guy looks like sometimes. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Whereas we're the opposite. We're like, well, she's super hot, and let's figure out what's behind. Yeah, that. what's behind? That. Ugh, and it, that's so true. My but, goodness. But super hot isn't enough to carry anything. We Never know. will be. Right? Because I've I've even been with girls who are super hot, super pretty. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah, I just don't like hanging out with you. I don't like. And hanging that's out. a that's a big part of it. And what's crazy too is, uh, I want to say to the viewer, never underestimate the funny guy. Because the moment oh. he has your girl laughing, it's game over. It's over. Yeah, she doesn't see anything. She doesn't see his big gut. She doesn't yeah. see anything. She doesn't see the double chin. She's just laughing and she's thinking about how she feels when she's with it. How does she you know? feel when she's with it? 
exactly. That's what they want. He makes me laugh, and it's just like such a good time. In the words of Cindy Lauper, girls just want to have fun, and I stand behind that. That's facts. Sorry, I'm going to Am obnoxiously I, dap no, you up the entire thing. No, you and I, we're on the same Yeah, yeah okay, fire. Girls just want to have fun, ultimately. They do. And she was, Poet Laureate Cindy Lauper coined that <laughs> pop song, <laughs> but Poet. it's really a statement about women, and it's not a frivolity that they want to have fun. They mm-hmm. want to have a good time. And if you're a man who can provide, provide to them a good time, mm-hmm. you could smash, even if you look like a fucking hobgoblin. Oh, 100%. Whereas men are not built that way. Now, look at Benny Blanco. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. What do you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> I think Benny's very cute, no? No, I I I'd, I'd kiss him. You would. Nah. You I feel like you guys could could be some in a very similar maybe there's some genius like there's some similarities with you and Benny. There's a hair. Yeah, he's got hair. the curly hair. Yeah. You guys I both got, have, you know, there's something there. There's something there. There's yeah. like we're like yeah, you could Benny, like if the, we were both unlocked characters in a video game and just black silhouettes. Yeah, you know, like who knows which one you're getting, Julian Benny, or Benny? Benny's not fair because Benny's like literally like Batman. Like he has like everything. oh no, he's ridiculous. He's no, like I, I, you're like Benny. He goes, he goes. I go out with a girl and I I take him on a trip and we get in my car <laughs> and I I take them on an adventure and I go Benny. Don't take a girl on an adventure. You're going to break her brain. You're already this guy. You're who's, already insane. You're already insane. Super producer. Yeah, super producer. Yeah. yeah, everything. And he's like, I'm going to take you on an adventure. I'm like, do you want every girl to just be devoted to you only for the rest of your life? <laughs> yeah. I'm, that's my, and I'm like, just take them to fucking Chipotle and they're going to be thrilled. Don't oh, take no, them. Th- that's already a story alone. Right. That's yeah. a story alone. No, you yeah. do the bare minimum. It's going to be, and it's going to be a core memory for anyone. Honestly, have Benny Blanco can bag any girl he wants. Have you been to a Benny Blanco function? I have once a couple okay. of years ago, and it was just a awesome party, bro. Awesome. It's uh, I'll just say that the ratio is bananas. Oh and my god, it's bananas. And like everyone who's there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's getting ready. <laughs> he's no, pre- you're, the, yeah. you're pre rizzy Just in case you're gonna go to that Betty Blanco concert in the future type shit. I'm doing some of this shit in the past to lube it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, no, sorry. I'm- Listen, side note. Cat's gonna come back, my man. You can't control what, what he, you can't control the essence of this person. If he decides, if she sits there and he lays it on her, I need you to be ready to go handheld, Jason, because now, she she might lose her shit. She might. Who, I don't. I don't have no. Listen, she works for me. I love her. She's she's my assistant. She's my friend. She's my confidant. But I have no. I have no. There's no. I don't know what can happen between them. If electricity is conjured up between the two of them, we might have to leave. But I want you to be here with the camera. I could take like a subtle approach too. Like I could just occasionally throughout this podcast, just kind of, <laughs> and you know, like just give her a quick little moment, or we could just go like the full ridiculous. <laughs> the funny thing is, when you do that, when I watch you, when I watch you on your channel, and you put it on the series, you go like you get fully in a character with the Riz. I look at, it, I'm like, is it working on me right now? <laughs> like for a second, I'm like, it's working. <laughs> like this dude's really good. He's just like, I can't even do it. Oh, the look up that's the move huh hold on, hold on. Let me try. yeah that's what it is it's it's honestly it's almost as if your eyelashes are a little heavy oh my god and straight into the soul can i have you is it have you ever done it for real um like has it ever have you ever pulled up and been like i can't do it. i can't i don't have the it's time. honestly so ridiculous it's this it's looking down and <laughs> it almost worked out. It's weird. I don't know how I discovered that. He's but got like, a magic power. No, it's it's crazy, and it's 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 just like it's also like kind of sim- simultaneously mewing because like I don't really have much of a fucking neck, and like so like when I do it, I'm kind of sucking my cheeks in a little bit. Oh yeah, there's a little. And then and it's the look up, and like especially when you're sitting there talking and the glasses on, you can just hold on. <laughs> or, or, or even what's even crazier is when you like present yourself which is so ridiculous to go hmm, and then go <laughs> which is for, like for those wild. not watching on youtube i can't describe it i just gotta say that this the, the way this man has uh, he's got a superpower if you guys aren't aware i'm a huge fucking fan of julian hodges you guys know it's i spent a lot of my life on the internet crazy to hear. and i i Nothing makes me happier, really, to be honest. I mean, a few things. But what makes me really happy is like seeing a very funny meme or someone on Instagram doing something funny. Mm-hmm. For that moment, 
it gives me immense joy. Like, oh, I'm 100%. Like, right? That's like why you, I scroll like ridiculously when I yeah, have like, any free time. I'm just searching for a laugh. Searching for a laugh. Some pure enjoyment. I repost your shit all the time. Like, I, no I'm... fucking way, really? Yeah. That's dude. crazy, No, bro. come on, bro. bro. You're, you're, you're out of here. You're fucking... You're like... Your shit is... <laughs> well, I've been doing this like a little over a year. So it's like just to have... I see huge things in your future. And I'm, and I'm really wrong about these things. Yeah. I think you're going to be like, I think that something's going to happen to you that you're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Like you're going to have, you're going to, some sort of opportunity is going to come up and you're going to be like, why am I on, why am I on this TV show now? Like something's going to happen because <laughs> oh, your crazy, shit yeah. is so, it's so fucking funny and so good. And you're, and like what he does, one of the many things he does is like one of his, he does many gags, like you're a streamer. And I like when you, <laughs> when there's one flow I always see you arguing with. I see the same clip over and over of you yelling at this dude and then like, Raising him in the same time. He he doesn't know if he's coming or going, but mm-hmm. but the thing you've been doing recently is going to the supermarket and being like, hold my phone. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, you just <laughs> <laughs> you just start like you start hitting yeah, like you just shitty. Start, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is and the person holding the phone, there's someone on a B camera holding the phone, and there's like a, a shot of them holding the phone, and you can see their face, and they're like they're not sure what to do, but yeah. they have to hold your phone because you've given them the phone. It's like the laws of like the <laughs> yeah. world, you know? Um Oh, Kat's back. Oh, Kat, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Kat, have you met Julian? I just wanted to introduce you. Julian Hodges? Yeah, briefly. Likewise. Yeah, it's just what we're doing here. It's just the vibe. Do you, do you mean that, or I feel like there's a little sarcasm going on? I'm trying to learn Riz from Julian, like one of these moves. I can't. I just, I just end up cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is it <laughs> i get a lot of products in this show with a lot of different there's a lot of different angles they come from i'm selling all kinds of shit i'm hawking whatever they want me to hawk but i will say i'm usually pretty aligned with most products this product specifically a product that shoots jets of water up your asshole is something that i am beyond aligned with i'd say this product has been a part of my life ever since covid and i'm gonna tell you a little motherfucking story my friend taylor sent me as a birthday present a tushy in the mail okay i sat in my house i never i never hooked it up i was like what the fuck is it it's a bidet whatever i'll do it at some point uh my buddy sean comes over i go sean can you set this thing up for me he sets up the tushy set up the tushy the jets are working the water's working it's amazing boom COVID hits Lockdown. People are arguing about toilet paper. You know who's surviving on one roll of toilet paper per every six weeks? This motherfucker right here with the ask me about my butthole t-shirt that I'm contractually obligated to wear because I love this product so much that I'll do anything that they ask me for. It's a product that I stand by. It's a product that I endorse. I took my tushy from my old house, moved it into my new house. It's the best thing in the world. Do you want a squeaky clean butthole? Think about all the think about all the avenues in your life that open up when you know empirically that your asshole is as clean as a goddamn diamond. Can you imagine? World peace. We could end hunger. Analingus all day. That's not what this is about, you guys. Listen, let's be real. We're all living in apartments, okay? You, you're not going to re- you're not going to put a toilet in your landlord's apartment. Get a fucking tushy, you dumbass. It cleans your asshole. You fucking idiot. Clean your butt. And then all you got to do is like you wash it all out and then you just dab. You get a little toilet. You just wash off the you just wash off the excess water off your butt. It's like you're you now have a surgical butthole. Now you can fucking you can use it as an autoclave. You can store gummy worms in it. You can put a quarter in there and it'll come out shinier than when it went in. I love you, Tushy. The Tushy Bidet cleans your butt with a targeted stream of fresh water, eliminating the need for painful wiping. Now, listen, if the wiping is painful, you might have other issues. You might have a hemorrhoid, which is not the end. It doesn't make you a bad person if you have a hemorrhoid. It just means that, like, wiping is a problem. Not that I've ever experienced one of those things, but I've heard about them, and they're painful little nodules that can bleed into your underwear. Um, Stop wiping until you bleed. (laughs) <laughs> join, join, join the three million butts who have already made the switch to Tushy. For a limited time, our listeners get 10% off your entire order when you use code PTA at checkout. That's 10% off your order at H E L L O T U S H Y dot com with promo code PTA. Use the Tushy on your booty. Um, I can't endorse this product enough. I love it. I love Tushy. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. You just got the phone. Bet. And. 
and you know you've been involved with this person and you guys been talking for a while and mm-hmm. you've laid it down a couple times so obviously her nose is wide open Facts. she doesn't know what the fuck's going on she doesn't know mm-hmm. she's coming or going mm-hmm. and you're on the phone with her and you decide because you're bored to hit her with the elephant man riz right the invisible man the masked avenger the caped crusader riz okay we're talking about that top of the rope shit top tier nectar top t- <laughs> top tier nectar right yeah and what happens is this person is subject to lose their mind and they might have to they might realize at that moment that you might have actually sparked the beginning of a particularly horrific bpd episode because oh, your riz shoot. is platinum <laughs> and the thing is like this person doesn't have the wherewithal or the bandwidth or even the funds to see a traditional therapist. Ooh. So what do we do? What do we do, everybody? What, what do, you do you do in this, in this scenario? scenario? Because mental health, let me explain something to you people. If I break my finger, which I have, I broke this finger. Owie. Owie, big owie. Mm-hmm. And I had to go to the hospital and they had to reset it. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what other part of my body that has been broken? My little brain. Mm. I got a boo-boo in my head. Owie. And that's just as valid as a broken knuckle. Or 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 a sprained <laughs> ankle. Nigga. <laughs> mental health. Mental health is real. Very. Now they say that black people don't like therapy. But we're in a new age. That we are. Times are changing. Every day. Everybody needs a shrink. I don't care who you are. True. Crips need therapy. They really do. Cat needs therapy. Every time. Garrett needs therapy. Ricky hella. in the art department needs therapy. I don't even know him, but hella does. You know he does. Jason, that motherfucker needs therapy. 100%. We all need help with our mental health. And now there's a way that anybody can talk to someone. Wait, how though? Well, it's a little something I like to call better help. Better help. I have personally benefited from therapy. Mm -hmm. Without psychotherapy and all the other fucking various things at my disposal and the pharmacopias and the meditations and the praying and the exercise and the, the jiu-jitsu and the soul searching and the hikes through the forest, I would be a mangled mess of a human being. I'm just now at a point where I can exist and operate and move through the world with some degree of grace because mm-hmm. I've been working on myself via all these fucking conduits. You 100%. Know what I mean? And one of those is therapy and it saved my life. And I'm proud to say that uh, because of, Decades of talking to someone about my childhood and, and, and beyond, I'm, I'm a much better person for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. See, the social sweet spot, sweet spot thing in this copy is that a lot of people are suffering from social anxiety, something that my... There we go. Just quick Something that up. my man does not suffer from. There we go. Social Never anxiety did. is not on his list of ailments. But for those of you who do, people go to therapy to find some sort of comfortability within themselves and within their own minds. And there's nothing better than being comfortable, as we can all agree. So why not get comfortable and get help and therapy in the comfort of your own home? You want to get better? Get some better help. The help we give at BetterHelp is better than the help you would get anywhere else. Because not only can you get comfy in your own home to get better, but shoot, you better get some help. The multitudes contained within this man is just, I can't. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. For real. Visit BetterHelp.com slash PT Angels today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PT Angels. Now won't you go fly away? <laughs> And get yourself some better help. Find your social sweet spot with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash PT Angels today to get 10% off your first month. That's better com slash PT Angels. No, if you're not watching this on YouTube, you're fucking just what are you doing? Stop driving, stop shitting or being in the shower and put it on YouTube and watch. Look no, at fact, this. Crank man. up the volume. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Look, they don't make hybrids like this anymore. Hybrids. They do- <laughs> It'll make half breeds they don't like make crossbreeds like this no more. <laughs> this is the he's a throwback. You ever heard of Shalimar? You ever heard of the Egyptian lover? You dumb motherfuckers! Do some goddamn research from the progeny, from the lineage of people like Ice T, Elder Barge. You dumb motherfuckers! Understand? 
this man is he's he's I, Okay, I'm not going to say he's a prophet, but he's something else. <laughs> the prophet on, is go crazy. <laughs> the, yo, t- it's, okay. So we we got we got we got super sidetracked. We talked about Catspins and some Benny Blanco parties. We're talking about mm-hmm. Benny Blanco parties. Mm-hmm. I told I told Julian I'm taking him to the next one. Cat, cat. Yeah, we're all going to be there. He's yeah, he'll be there. Garrett will be there. Jason might be there too. I'll fuck um, with Garrett and Jason. Yeah, I fuck with all y'all actually. Good vibes. Good vibes. It's good. Vibes. I just want to say, if anyone is like wondering what the vibes are like here, yeah, fucking solid off rip. Thank you. You're welcome, man. And I know. And thank all, you, bro. Thank and then you. it all comes down the tubes. The vibe, the vibe murderer, the vibe, the vibe serial killers entered the room. Um, one thing I wanted to say though is like you were talking about how like there's like a B cam for like just to kind of ex- like briefly explain to the viewer. I will go up to a random person and say, "Hey, can you possibly film me?" And sometimes I'll insert ridiculous things just for the hook of the video. Like I'll literally approach someone and go, "Hey, excuse me, can you record me?" And then they'll be like, "Yeah." And then I'll hand them my phone, but little do they know is like while they're recording me, like in the midst of me like dancing or whatever I decided to do in the moment, I'll also pull out a phone and record them. <laughs> and then behind that person recording me is one of my homies recording them. And behind me is one, another one of my friends recording us too. So it's like we will just like, I'll have this, I'll, you know, then just start to do the utmost absurd thing I can think of in the moment. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna say or do to anyone yeah. upon approaching them. It's all just off rip, like, improv and then after that like you know and mind you all sometimes i'll break out and dance and there'll just be no music and i'll like drag this shit out for like three minutes (laughs) and then post i'll then take the footage they have of me and add music to see like how cool it could look kind of like i was kind of making fun of like influencers in the wild like how cringy people look make like making tiktoks in person i'm like bro you suck yeah you know like um and then like I'll take the third person perspective camera and show like the reality of how weird what I'm doing is. I think the act of giving someone your phone and then pulling out another phone to record them with your phone is <laughs> just enough. Wild. Like, yeah. like if you don't understand what's happening, you know, like it's it's like it's like it's like Eric Andre fucked John Travolta or something. You know what I mean? Like it's it's <laughs> it's so fucked up. <laughs> like it, you know, it uh I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I'm gonna tell you why, because like as a young as a young weirdo myself mm-hmm. i i would dream my dream was to be able to walk around with hidden cameras mm-hmm. i couldn't figure it oh, out oh yeah no we didn't have the technology we didn't have tiny cameras. we didn't have phones we had mm-hmm. beepers like and i would just spend my time going into like a mcdonald's and just like talking backwards to people just whatever i could do to make my friends laugh and mm-hmm. just to like because everyone like and i know this is not new news but like the whole world it's we're surrounded by npcs mm-hmm. and you can say and do whatever you want 100 oh, and they don't re- they go because everyone's programmed to just do what they're supposed to do like yeah. you can sing opera in the back of your fucking uber and like talk to them about skittles and like <laughs> yeah. you won't even blink and they'll forget next week like yeah, they, forget really, next week. Yeah, they don't yeah. even go home i saw the weirdest guy they're just like yeah i just yeah, saw the weirdest guy. what's for dinner and then yeah. it's just like like gone. Like if this happened to me in the supermarket, I'd be talking about it for months. I'd be like, dude, this guy came up to me and he had two phones. <laughs> there's a guy, there's a B camera and a C camera. And then he started doing the Robocop. And I'm just like, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? No, I, I and that's one of the, one of the things I put in my bio. I say CEO of giving people core memories. Yeah. Because I try to make it so absurd where they're just like, fuck, I'm never forgetting this. Yeah. What do you think it is about like people at large that they don't, it's like no one, when you do something that's super unprogrammed out of pocket they don't have a canned response mm-hmm. they don't have like in their arsenal of responses they don't have anything so they just mm-hmm. accept it and move on oh it's a trip i've come to find that people are really fucking patient yeah. like you know because like even when like i'll do another bit where i'll like do like a fake food review and like i'll sit there and i'll try like this crunchy snack and i'll be like <laughs> and i'll just do like crazy shit i'll start dancing i'll go on my knee and fucking spin in circles like i'll just give the utmost absurd childish thing i can think to do and most of the time they're just like they'll just record yeah and they in like and like literally out of all the videos I've made, there's only been like two or three people that are like, I have to stop doing this. Oh, they right. usually <laughs> thug it out for me. And they're yeah, like, yeah. congratulations, like- bro. Have fun with that. You know, and then they just go about their day like nothing happened. And it's so odd. And I like to when it's like you're you're basically handing your phone to like a middle aged paper executive like on his day off, you know, in like <laughs> yeah, a hoodie. Like, he has a hoodie that says like bowling pins or some shit. And you're yeah, just like, like the utmost mundane person. Yeah, like. yeah. The most like normal human being. It's <laughs> yeah. just like who's like, you know, 
where's Paul? I don't know what the fuck he does, but like, you know, not us. Yeah, and some guy's just typing numbers yeah, in a fucking yeah. cubicle. <laughs> yeah, like putting numbers into other numbers <laughs> and being like, burp, 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 burp. quarterly reports. And like, it's this guy. This, this, <laughs> yeah, just. Uh, I got approached by this like light skinned football player who just <laughs> proceeded to like. <laughs> <laughs> this is just fucking like, like like little miniature linebacker just yeah. pulling up, you yeah. know. Oh shit. <laughs> it's so good. You're doing God's work. It's the best. Listen, here's the biggest hat trick in the world. This is it. Okay. You you're you're 27 years old, all right? This is I wasted a lot of time in my life. Mm-hmm. A lot of years. I, I fucking just flushed down the tube being an idiot. And you're at you're 27 years old you're not even close to your prime as a as a as a person as an artist or anything if this segues into you making your living off of this mm-hmm. and like supporting yourself in a career what's going to happen are two things first thing is going to happen is a few years down the line you're going to forget all of these years mm-hmm. and you're going to become jaded and be like where the fuck is my where's my fucking uber like where's my shit you're going to mm-hmm. you're going to become that you can't help it <laughs> you know you're going to have a different card and secondly uh, I hope that what happens is you remember this moment and realize that if you end up to make if you end up making a living mm. by being a fucking psychotic goofball weirdo in a supermarket, you've you've just won life. Like you've just you just it, it currently pays the bills. It like, pays the bills right now. I swear to God. Okay, that's insane. Which is you're paying insane. you're paying the bills, by you. Like, <laughs> I you, am, bro. <laughs> it's, it's proof that we're not living in a real world. <laughs> yeah, that's no, weird. <laughs> we're not in a real it's world. It's weird. I'm like, bro. I'm like literally getting paid for my absurdity, and it's like. I feel so lucky to be in the position that I'm in, you know, and I know it's just the beginning because I've only been doing this for a year. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I'm trying to focus on is like how to like take that to the next step yeah. a bit, you know, yeah. like I think um, like one of my good friends, she's amazing. Shout out Sydney. She, um, she was like, dude, you need to like maximize like your productivity in terms of like, I'll take like, I'll go to the store and I'll pull up on like, <laughs> what's up fire truck what's up fire <laughs> i mean like who's dying like yeah, where's the fire at <laughs> yeah where that dead body at though i bet you that fire is hot <laughs> yeah that fire real hot i hope you don't burn your esophagus facts show me that burned body though <laughs> <laughs> no i was kidding that's fucked okay. when you wake up out of a k-hole 69 and do a leap and i want you to remember this moment that's how far it's gonna go <laughs> And three years from now, right? You're in the you're in Turks and Caicos. You're in you're in a bizarre orgy with Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, the, all, all of ASAP, Rihanna, Dua Lipa, <laughs> Rosalinda, and for some reason Courtney loves there. And you wake up in the middle of this mess. Remember this moment and Bet say, "I will." And go, "Okay, I'm just gonna." I got here. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, to you're gonna, you don't take me back. <laughs> you're back here. Oh, um, he was telling me about this. Yeah, he's telling you what happened. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It's amazing. We live in a crazy world. I gotta say, it's. Um, yeah, it's amazing when a young man can just take. You know, it's like what you do is comedy, right? It's mm-hmm. it's real comedy. Yeah, very and, odd niche comedy. Right. It's like, sure. but maybe this is maybe this is what comedy is going to be now. Like maybe stand up comedy is going to end up being like like we might look back at stand up comedy in twenty years as like you know as like I look at like old timey boxers. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Like strong men. Like who, no one does that shit. <laughs> yeah. No one rolls a hoop down the street. Like you <laughs> yeah. might look at like people like people used to stand up in front of people with a mic. Like no, dude, comedy is experiential. You go into a crowd of people and you fucking riz them up, or you like yeah, and just like you know. just give them a weird bizarre experience. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I actually did a sta- uh, stand up set the other day. It was one of my good friends uh, Nick Galarza's last like farewell show, and he's a great comedian. And he's like, yo, do you want to do a quick 10 minutes? And yeah. I was like, fuck, sure. And I like had to like come up with a bunch of like comedy that I thought, um, you know, just would appeal to a crowd. Yeah. And so I actually pulled up in like very much how I did in the beginning of this in an awkward character. Right. And like my first opening line was. Uh, <laughs> what up, niggas? And like everyone just thought that was way too funny for what it was. And I'm like, damn it, you guys are not supposed to laugh right now. Yeah. But it was, it was and it was an interesting approach because like I was just doing a bunch of like characters and like what I like to call it brain rot. Like I was just brain rotting on stage and everyone was eating it up. And actually some of the jokes that I like prepared to like actually be like heavy hitters just kind of got like a mid tier amount of laughter rather than like the ridiculous like, you know, shit that I'm subjecting the crowd to. Yeah. 
they just loved it. They ate it up. And I'm like, damn, like this first whole five minutes, I planned for no one to laugh. Damn. And everyone was just shitting their oh, pants. Oh, you wanted it to be uncomfortable. And yes, just I wanted to dying. make everyone uncomfortable. Like that yeah. was like my goal. But then like everyone just was eating it up. And I'm like, fuck, it's not supposed to go like this. <laughs> is that but what the brain rot is? Making people uncomfortable? Brain rot is just like, <sighs> describe brain rot. Um, God damn. Brain rot is just like, the utmost ridiculous animated ideas and scenarios you have in your head brought into reality. So like, you know, I feel like me and my good friends like Jaden and Silas will sit there and just think of the utmost ridiculous things ever and then just try and like act them out to a degree. Um, I mean, dude, I mean, I'll just brain rot throughout this entire time, you know, yeah. and just let loose. Fucking brain rot, let it happen. Yeah, I will. Let's, uh, let's get into a young Julian Hodges uh, as an ingenue in, in the beautiful ingenue. desert shores of Riverside. Riverside County. Yeah, the, the Inland Desert Empire? Shores. <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. fire. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't know. Not, what is an ingenue? I don't even really know. I just guessed. No, I an like ingenue is like a young, a young uh, hopeful uh, yeah, young, artist of some sort. Like a little young buck. Yeah, yeah young I like buck. that word. A little young filly. I'm definitely going to steal that one. Yeah, you should stick it, it in the pack. Stick it, stick it right in the pack. Um, yeah, so you grew up in Riverside. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like... Were you a class clown? Were you that guy? Yeah, I was actually like not like I actually recently bust. My mom showed me my yearbook. Like yeah. she found it, yeah. and I like one hundred. Like I got the fur front and center photo for a class clown. Class clown. You were that guy. <laughs> yeah, I was that guy. Yeah. And what was it? What did that look like? Oh, God damn, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I remember that was, I was fully stupid. I mean, I still am pretty fucking. Mm -hmm. up. Oh yeah, no, but I was never gonna mature. Like, no. I will laugh at a fart as eighty years old. And, like, you know, like it's still amazing. Yeah, it's still I funny pray, every I pray time. There's someone in the office in the middle of a really important meeting. There's a fart. Oh, like, I'd, I'm just, waiting for farts at, at the utmost inappropriate time. I do if, it actively. If someone did it, mm -hmm. I would never like say this to them, and hopefully they don't. But if someone in the middle of a really good meeting uh -huh. ripped a huge fart, I will. <laughs> I will fall on the ground crying. Like if so, if I was in a, I'm the boss. If I was in a meeting and someone, well, no, I probably wouldn't take this too. Well. I was saying if someone hit me with a pie, I'd probably be pissed. But if someone farted really good. Yeah, just a quick. Yeah. Like in the middle you of know, like, I was really like, yeah. they're like, we got to hit these goals, guys. We're going to crush. And someone just goes. <laughs> I would literally be crying because at the end of the day, it's all ridiculous. Like, this is all ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Everything. This is, it's all temporary. Like, yeah. yeah. We're not, this, none of this matters. Like, this is yeah, a joke. come on. What are we doing? No, we're just fucking trying to figure it out. Trying you know? to figure yeah. it out. Like you just you have momentary uh, uh, times of, of happiness and and uh, and you try to make some money and you try to have sex and you try to fall in love and you do all those things and it goes mm -hmm. up and it comes down and it falls apart and we're just spinning and turning and nobody knows what's happening. We're mm -hmm. all going to die. We're all going to catch on fire. No, 100%. Microplastics raining out of the sky. Fucking nuclear uh, <laughs> mini nukes being shot into our food supply. Insane. Sarajevo. Ukraine, fucking. So you might as well eat bean and cheese burritos every night. Yeah. Get your ass ate. Why not? Yeah, why not? You know, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not gay. I think. That's not gay. Well, yeah, it's definitely why, not gay. Why, why, why? Yeah. Sorry, I had to hit you with the dap up for the validation, but no, I'm I'm with you 100. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's facts. gay if I think it's gay if a man eats your ass. Hella. Right, that's yeah, pretty gay. That's 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 mad. Gay. I don't think anything that let's, let's just be let's just go on record and mm -hmm. say empirically that anything that a man and woman do together isn't gay. Facts by the by the definition of what homosexuality is. Yes, one hundred percent. Homosexuality is what transpires between a man and a man or woman and woman. But if a man and woman decide to dress like dragons and she wants to fuck him in the ass with with a Charizard dildo, mm -hmm. it's not gay. It's just weird. Yeah, it's just like sus, sus. Yeah, it's yeah. mad sus. And not that like who can it also. Who cares? Who I'm cares? I'm down for it though. Yeah, like you know, I'm not saying I'm particularly down for that. Like, yeah, just to clear the air, uh, but I'm down for people to be doing that. You like, live in a generation where this is what's great, and I mm -hmm. and I learned because I'm in I, I work in um I work in the culture of youth. It just happens to be that way, and I've never grown uh -huh. up myself, and I'm I'm very observant of what's going on. I mean, like your generation, the homies will just make out. You, you have homies that like. Just I do out. have homies that be kissing. The homies kiss, and that shit's like, crazy. In my day, that yeah, was like. If two of the homies made out, That's, do you understand? No, you're be, punked. You're done. Bro, front, <laughs> no, you're late, done. front page headlines. Cooked. You would have to move to another continent. It was like, <laughs> yeah. you're gay. Now it's just like, it's Friday. Fuck it. That dude's cute, actually. Let's kiss. Like, and it, Wild. And it's crazy. And, things, and maybe this is progress. You know, maybe this is what happened. Maybe we're all just going to be, you know, 
formless amoebas just nudging each other with with our uh, non-existent sexual organs. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm just here. Listen, I don't make the rules. The kids make formless the rules. Amoebas. You can't fight City Hall. <laughs> but it's the homies, crazy. the homies on a Friday night just making out. And it's also like certain neighborhoods, it's probably not going to happen. But like as a whole normal like middle class kids it's just totally normal to experiment and that's fine mm -hmm. because the europeans and the romans have been doing it forever yeah and you Those know the mad sus mad sus the greeks mad invented sus. uh homosexuality you know what a peg boy is right they peg have, boy i don't know what a peg, peg boy is uh, i think in the roman army they used to have these like 12 year old boys and they'd stick a dowel up their ass and they would be in the formation with them and they're called peg boys because they had peg up their butt Whoa. and they'd be marching and they'd be like well i got a time for me to fuck one of these peg boys and pop the peg out and put something else in there that's a, right am i wrong no jason fucking way that's yeah insane. that's a peg boy yeah, i heard like thing. they would like fall in love with each other just to make them like rock with each other harder yeah and like like make them more ride or dies you yeah. know like that's yeah. my nigga i love him so Yo, like, you're going I'm to gonna war fight harder. i'm in love with this yeah fool. i'm in love with this <laughs> you shot at my dude yeah this is like i will arrow. fucking kill you <laughs> yeah yeah <All> right. <laughs> That's my bitch, bro. Yeah. You know, just Yo, I love him. Yeah. Insane. That's, and so, Insane. yeah. And maybe it's, maybe that's the way things need to be. I don't know. But, but again, it, it's a funny being the age I'm at, which is fucking old as shit. And how seeing, old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm going to be 50 soon. My God guy. damn. You look good as fuck. I hydrate. I drink you, a lot of water. Yeah. A lot of water. Lot you got like that. You're like in your, uh, like peppered. Yeah. You know, I'm in like the yeah, era. I'm in, I'm in that era. It's, this, it's a vibe though you rock it like not a lot of people rock it the way you do like you still have like a swaggy swaggy aura to you thank you i appreciate you know? that yeah I'm, I'm you feel like like talking to you you feel like my age honestly i know yeah and i don't and it's i fire and I, and, I, and, fire. I don't, and i feel like you're like i don't know how i sometimes i'm like wait no i'm not that old. and I'm, no I, I feel that too i'm like fuck i'm like still like a fucking like 19 year old dumbass like yeah like literally when i go home after this i'm gonna go play dragon ball z yeah. shamelessly good do it run it what, yeah these are your, i didn't do anything until i was 30 i did nothing i fucked around i mean i i went to i went in and i dropped out of high school i dropped out of film school i had a tattoo apprenticeship i didn't really do anything i just couldn't mm -hmm. do i just was too crazy mm -hmm. until i was 30 so i talked to kids in their 20s like you and i'm like you're 27 and you're already like setting this thing up for yourself that's gonna transmogrify and evolve into who the fuck knows what it could be anything mm -hmm. you might end up fucking selling goddamn porcelain dolls of yourself or slingshots oh, yeah it could be any peruvians i don't know like anything could happen anything can and will happen as as i've learned recently um i don't know <laughs> your mind goes everywhere you're pretty brain rot i gotta say like i'm, pretty, I'm, are, I'm very i'm very rotted yeah, yeah it's, it's a mess it. it's a I mess with it. no it's, it's brilliant no I do, I do not feel by any means my age i do not you know like everyone i don't know how i don't know how, i don't know why i'm like this but I, I think maybe uh oh i know why i'm like this i didn't have any kids Mm. I never had any kids. I never got married, so I'm mm. still a fucking. I've never gotten into the zone of like, you have like, kids and you get married, and let then me take shit this shit serious. Now. Yes, yes. And then you're on this like kind of schedule of like, okay, this is what's happening every day, and I think years and years of that turn you into like an adult, uh -huh. and you're like, you have all this responsibility on your back, and like, yeah. you gotta pay the kids tuition, and yeah, you know, like, like just, my son has worms, you know, you gotta deal mm -hmm. with that shit. Yeah, what like, you know what I mean? Or like you can't leave your son at Uncle Barry's house because like yeah, because that shit gets weird. That gets weird. Like yeah. you know, have all that on your head all the time. Yeah. And I think that's what makes you like. That's why when you see, yeah, it's like overanalyze every fucking every fucking move counts at yeah. that point. Like once you have a kid, that's like you can no longer even move the way that you want to move because no. like they're first. Yeah, I can't so take like, off and go to fucking Japan if if young Baxter is at home and he needs his goddamn diabetes medicine. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Like. Little son of a bitch. Like, no. yeah, that's little I fucker think, needs his insulin. Jesus yeah, he needs Christ, some cocksucker. No, Why did I ever have him? Yeah, yeah. Put, get put that thyroid. Have, have a fucking peanut M and M, you dildo. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's because I didn't thyroid to man up. Yeah, man the fuck up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, wow, what a what a world we live in. It's so funny. Interesting. Um, did you did you ever at one point want to have kids? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, would yeah. you would you cook on some kids now? Like, if you met like this. 10 out of 10 awesome babe partner lady if if he, i don't if if the person was and again like it's got nothing to do with how they look mm -hmm. of course they have to be, no the vibe has to be there the, i think that's all, the yeah. biggest thing for me like i have to just love hanging out with you have you to love hanging out and like have them genuinely be like 
my fucking teammate. You your know? teammate, your best yeah. friend. And yeah, like, exactly. I, yeah. And I remember my ex telling me like, we're best friends. I'm like, no, we're not. You're yeah. best friends with, with those people. And then we broke up. I'm like, oh shit, that was my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, where's my best friend? No, oh fuck. fuck. I don't fuck. have a best friend. I miss her. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta reconnect with all my friends again. Like I have to start like hanging out and shit. It's like, yeah, oh like, fuck. Yeah. I forget. Yeah. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be like, it's got to be best friend level, mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. Also, in someone like I was talking to Cat earlier, someone that won't take your shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. I don't, don't say yes to everything. Don't be an asshole. Mm-hmm. But like, you have to know when to say like, I'm not. This is not going to work for me. Mm-hmm. And that makes you a better man. Yeah, to a degree, I honestly need like my woman to kind of keep me in check because like I will fart in the elevator. Yeah, I will. You know, yeah, just, they got to put a stop to that. No, I like I'm bad, dude. Like, trust me, I'm like I'm a good behavior in here because I'm kind of stoked to be here and stuff. Yeah. But like. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, my mouth is fucking frivolous, dude. I, <laughs> yeah, as, so, as evidence. I need my it. girl to. You know. Why well, I, I have a and, and not to segue too much, but I have a I have a relationship rule where, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, right out the gate they're farting and shitting in front of their partner and like Dutch mm-hmm. oven and it's funny because because mm-hmm. in the in the very beginning of a relationship for six to eight months you can do anything mm-hmm. and if you're in love you can do anything in the world and they're gonna love it mm-hmm. but. When the fucking when the when the glow wears off and all that weird shit you're doing and then yes. you start to really get into the groove, then you're ripping farts every day and burping, mm-hmm. and they're like, I don't know if I like this. So my thing is like, let's try to keep it sexy. Mm-hmm. If we're in a relationship, I'm always down to keep it sexy. Keep it sexy. Yeah. And like how and I say, very hey, important. Very important. You gotta keep it sexy for for as long as you humanly can because mm-hmm. you have to. Familiarity breeds breeds contempt, mm-hmm. and you're seeing that person. You're not seeing the best angle. You're not seeing the Instagram angle. You're not seeing the best butt angle. You're seeing them in the morning mm-hmm. rolling over and you're looking like a fucking lizard and shit. And you have to love them I so fuck much. I with that though. So like, yeah, you know, of course. If you really rock with the person. If you rock yeah, with them. Yeah. But you got to try I'm not saying like, yo, get up in the morning and fucking put makeup on like some 50s crazy housewife. But yeah. maybe, maybe like keep a little bit of etiquette in play. And maybe like I have a three fart burp year a rule. Three burps or farts a year rule. Damn, that's that's three. that's very little. That's very little. That's all I want to hear. Yeah, and that's what I get. And if I if I store up for two years, I'm gonna get six next year. <laughs> yeah. But I hold them. It rolls. I got to ration my year. <laughs> you got to ration your points. <laughs> people don't and people don't believe this is true. But like I think it is. I think you need to. I think you gotta. I think you always gotta have a little. Gotta have a little bit of mystery. Mm-hmm. There's gotta be a little. There's that's gotta be so a little bit important. Of yes, a little bit. Always, always. And it's hard to maintain that. And like some it people, is. the the people that. The masters of that. Did you just fart? No, I didn't. It was the oh, table. I heard some creaking. I was like, my man, <laughs> my man said, burp. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I think that people, you know, what people don't know, like you know, there's a book that says like you know, bitches, women love bitches. Like, no, we don't want you to be a bitch. Mm-hmm. No one loves a bitch or an ass. Like, and women love assholes, right? Mm-hmm. Men love bitches. Yeah, no, 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 no women, not at all. Women like confidence and people who are themselves, which might be what you call an asshole. Hun- they love on- authenticity. Authenticity is yes. king. King. Sense of humor. Yes. Right? Yes. Originality. <laughs> don't Preach. recycle. Don't recycle your texts. I heard Huberman. No. He, they're trying to hang Huberman. It's pretty silly, but he was recycling texts. Be original. If you're going to text in a bunch of different people, no. Don't have don't, the common decency to give every girl. Give everyone their own, their own experience. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Deserves their own experience. Mm. <laughs> So mm. much knowledge being dropped. Just this is it. This is school for young people right now. Facts, right? You're learning from the young and the old. Ages, years of wisdom between us. Years of wisdom, may I say? Wisdom. My God. <laughs> <laughs> finally, <sighs> finally, I can just be myself. You know what I mean? Now that Julian's here, I can just finally. It's three years of this shit, and I can finally be me. <laughs> he just makes me feel like myself. Garrett Chan, Garrett Chan wants a free plug for Goshi. Shoot it, shoot it, Garrett. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. There we go. No, no, no. You gotta throw it. Yeah, toss the bit. It's better if you do it again, Garrett. Yeah, yeah. Garrett, let's let's cook again. on that. Run that back. Do it again. Put it in my hand. Drop it in my hand. Go. Do it. Goshi. Kush. The oh. lotion of the future. That's facts. Oh! <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> Yeah. That's what we call goofing. Goof. Um, shout out to Garrett and Goshi. Garrett uh, Goshi has been a long time friend of the show. Garrett and I go way back, mm. right? Yeah, for people no. that for people that seem to have the capacity to collect a little bit of ash on their elbows and knees. Goshi, the lotion of the future. That's not your tagline, but we're just giving you a little. A little. This is kind of sick. The little Goshi uh, capsule. I'll say that. Um, 
The Goshi lotion. Let's give it the test. Elbows. Fire. Fire. Smooth. Smells good. I feel like I'm back in Japan right now. Let's fucking go. Soapland, here we come. Where were we? Three fart three farts a year. Three farts. We were talking about like keeping that mystery oh, yeah. Yeah, alive, yeah, yeah. you know, that sexual right. tension, if you will. Women, younger women think assholes be, being an asshole is being confident. And mm -hmm. younger men think someone who's a bitch is a is a strong woman. Now, we don't want a bitch, nor does a woman want an asshole, but I would like someone that when the time comes stand by your fucking guns and mm -hmm. don't be pushed over mm -hmm. and don't let anyone move you aside for what you need to do and no one just stick stick around and that's a great person because at the end of the day they're going to pull you out of the fire mm -hmm. right like they're going to stop you from doing some dumb shit 100 percent. 100 maybe you shouldn't do that thing yeah and you listen because they you value their opinion as opposed to someone who always tells you to no, know or someone who is always saying yeah do whatever you want you know mm -hmm. so yeah. not that that's uh that's just this is just a couple guys Talking about love.